hi lovies welcome back to another video and uh, this is a continuation of uh, another video that i did about washing the millet and the sorghum and i did dry it out in the sun and at this point it is dried out i did i dried it for like two days with full sun so if you don't have sun enough sun in your area you'll need to to dry it out uh, for more days now it's time for me to take it to the milling machine in my local place and uh, it is not the only thing that I'm going to mill I have this uh, cassava cassava this is uh, dried cassava and I'm going to use this one to go and uh, this is this will be the last thing that I'll mill so that it can clean the milling machine so that the next person who will come after me will not have uh, their millet no their corn flour having uh, traces of millet this is me going to the milling machine so at this point we had done a uh, the first uh, milling now this is the second milling that is how it is done so that you can get a soft flour okay. now we're going to wash the machine and uh, what am i going to do with the with this cassava this cassava i'm going to mix it in i'm going to mix it with the millet and uh, soga mixture Mi uh, millet and soga soga ma flour but that will be towards the end of the process of fermentation and uh, this one we're not going to repeat uh, milling it's just going to be milled at once because it just comes out soft with the first milling and that's it guys now this is the next day and uh, let's start with the fermenting process that is flour and I only need water and if in case you do yours please use warm water not hot water just use warm water it will speed up the process i'm using cold water because i know where i'll keep this uh this uh wet flour uh, there's some uh, some warmth and i'm going to ensure that uh, all the particles of flour has uh is covered with water and they're not going to make it uh, that uh, wet we just want to just mix it like the way you can mix unga and i did realize that that container is too small and the bottom part was not receiving the water so i had to do this and separate them not that 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 is the process that you need to do but the container was just too small so ensure all the flour has water in it that way it will ferment and in case you didn't know that uh, fermented millet has uh, probiotics and probiotics are so the probiotics are so important in our body in our gut and uh, it eliminates toxins in our bodies it, the probiotics are good bacteria in our bodies and they they just do wonders in our bodies and uh, we've been taking uh, fermented porridge unknowingly that it is it has a health benefit to our bodies since we were little and uh, probably that's why we grew up healthy human beings now that i came to realize that uh, fermented foods have have an important role in our gut health i decided i'm going to be taking a fermented porridge for breakfast and uh, this is the process i'm going to ferment this uh, for three sometimes it goes for three days the earliest when the temperatures are uh, a bit warmer but when the temperatures are cold it can go to four 
or five days depending on the weather everything is ready and i'm going to cover this container with the cling film then the lid so that it becomes easier so that it ferments easy easily so as you have noticed this is uh, at night and that's why i'm speaking in low voice i don't want to wake up my kids and i don't want to disturb the the neighbors because i live in a rental apartment and i don't want to disturb the neighbors uh, this is after four days and uh, the smell is heavenly now the sun is on my side and we are going to dry this flower it may take long this also depends on uh, the sun if the sun comes out every day i'll only need two days to dry this thing but if it doesn't and just just know that uh, this time is uh, the rainy season and uh, it may not it may not uh, be favorable for me so i might need more days to dry this out because it might be sunny at this point and then after two three hours we have rain now this is how you do it you just uh, you just dry it out and then when it's complete completely dried you can use a sieve or a sifter to sieve out the lumps and then those lumps you just crush it into powdery form then do the process until uh, all the flour is is soft and uh, no lumps then you can uh, cook your porridge and enjoy it without sugar please without sugar because uh, sugar is unhealthy and uh, by the way we used to drink this porridge without sugar back at home and that is the only way you can benefit from it without sugar we are avoiding sugar at this point yeah you just spread it out like that and try and break the lumps as much as possible although you're going to use a sieve that's it guys thank you for watching see you in the next video